Hello everybody out there, this is also Singh from Smart Tech and today I'm going to show you guys how to create this bark material very quickly. Um, should be done in 5 minutes and what I'm going to use is Substance Alchemist and most of the and some of the presets that they have given us and one custom texture. So let's get started right away. First thing you want to do is add in your bark pine. Go to explore and it's in the presets alright. One thing to note is I am working on 1024 1K resolution. Now, this bark pine here is it has some presets, all right. So I'm going to use the warm pine bark that I've used in the original material, or you can use red pine bark, whichever suits you, all right. So now I'm going to save this into my library, but first I'm going to create a new collection and name it Tutorial, all right. So now I'm going to go ahead save it preset name. Uh, warm pine bark and tutorial done now what you want to do is go ahead inspire now I want to create a custom moss texture alright so I've searched moss or albedo map and this is the first result basically and I have used it now I'm going to check for moss now I have this texture on my desktop I'm going to drag it put it in here it is still very buggy but all right no problem go ahead to the create section drag it again bitmap to material and that's it now but first thing you notice it is way too dark and it is styling so how do we fix that now first we re need to remove the light all right so light removal inside the light removal there is a light removal strength i'm going to adjust it just a little bit and increase the ambient occlusion removal as well so um what I'm, what i'm going to do here is well let me just increase this because we don't want shadows by itself since it's proper PPR. But we are not going to do much on this, do much work on this because, well, this isn't going to show up a lot. All right, so now I'm going to tile it. More like, make it a seamless texture, tiling, edge, and increase the threshold. But first, I'm going to do is go to height. I'm going to increase the tiling here. All right, so now I have to increase the threshold to create get this get these basic shapes down there. Um, the subs, the algorithm in this for this filter basically gets you the basic shapes down in the texture and uses them to blend between the tile and create a seamless texture. So I'm going to increase the blur, so it's blend, so it's going to blend better. Increase the blur, increase the smoothness, and increase the tolerance. You can just adjust the tolerance till you get something better. Alright, now it's actually kind of done. You can just scale it down here a bit based on what you want to do. Now I'm satisfied with this. Now I'm going to save this. In the tutorial, I'm going to name it Moss. And there we go. Alright, so I'm going to start creating a new material again. I'm going to get this in here. Now, first thing I want to do is get this moss in the cracks of the bark. So, I'm going to drag it up there. It is, has went into blend mode. But the thing is, it's on high blend, so it will show up soon enough. Go into 3D view. Now it looks way bad, right? So I I just wanted the cracks and the cracks are usually have shadows using the AO ambient occlusion. So I'm going to do an ambient occlusion blend. Instantly you can see the result, it has appeared in the cracks, right? So of course you can change the contrast, you can change the balance according to yourself. And I think I like this. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is we have this preset European Forest Moss. Just drag it in here on top of moss. Now I want those lichen patches, so lichen patches and I have these. So you can of course change the pattern, you can change the crop value to make it bigger, alright. 
so if you increase the crop value you are essentially going to make these patches bigger all right as you can see here but i want to creep it on zero that is the least we can do and that is that is the minimum we can go to and i'm going to keep this on height blend okay now another thing i want to do is get some thing get some moss on these sides all right so again all i'm going all i'm going to do is just add in another moss layer on top and go to curvature blend so curvature is going to basically gives you the curved side so it's better visualized in sphere as a mesh as you can see here so without it with it all right so back to rounded cylinder and in here we go now you can it's just way too much right so just decrease the balance and put it up until you get something satisfactory all right i think i'm happy with that and that's it basically so now you can of course of course match the bottom color change a little stuff around in there but now i'm going to show you guys some global parameters so of course you can change the resolution of the texture or you can go to tiling and my texture has been offset by 0.29 because i want it to be like that it kind of looked better that way doesn't matter because it's the same thing now texture rotation you can change the texture rotation so let's try out 0.25 so this also looks good but you can do a little you can go a little crazy and make it just a bit diagonal so this looks good as well but for now i'm going to stay with a normal straight one with cylinder as mesh a sharp cylinder all right now what you can do now is change the texture scale so i can increase the u or the v tiling i am not going to do it in here so that's it you have got your bark you have got a some amount of moss which you can control using the balance in here and of course you can you have used presets all right and that's it that's all for this tutorial hope you like it if you liked it press the like button and make sure to subscribe to my channel to keep yourself updated about the new videos that i'll be posting soon hope you have a good day thanks for watching